Hey everyone, you may have heard of ear candles. These candles are supposed to remove earwax from your ears, but some of us are a little more skeptical than others. So we're gonna try it out today. We've got Alex here to help since he likes to research and he's gonna tell us if he really thinks these are removing earwax or if it's just the wax from within the candle that we see when we open it up. So stick around and we're gonna do that next. Hello there. This is my channel, Matt Tube. I'm a technology enthusiast with a passion for all things tech. On this channel, you'll find many different videos. I love exploring new tech gadgets, being creative, and taking you with me on my life travels. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my journey. Okay, so I picked up two of these boxes from my local store. These were about $9.99 each, so they're not exactly cheap. I was just gonna look at this package really quick and tell you what it says on here. It says, relax, unwind, and feel the ease as the warm air travels down each candle, creating a rhythmic sound and soothing warmth. Nowhere on there does it say it actually removes earwax. And, and that's why Alex is a little skeptical. I was talking with a friend about these the other night and they also said that it was a joke and it wasn't real. So I thought that we would do a little more investigating to see if we really think that it's removing our wax from our ears or not. I mean, it almost looks like fabric dipped in beeswax. So there's already wax on this, right? And so the question that we're trying to figure out is, when we burn these, is it just the wax from within inside of these that's dripping down that we see? Because when you cut it open when you're done, it looks like there's a lot of wax in there. And it looks like earwax, but it could just be beeswax. I guess you should have someone you trust light the opposite end, let it burn for about 15 minutes, and repeat into the other ear. Fans say that the candles burn. It creates a low level suction that forces and pulls out the wax and debris out of your ear. Others believe the heat from the candle melts and softens the wax, which falls out over the next few days. The experiment we're gonna try and do is that we'll put one of these guys in Matt's ear and we'll light it, burn it all the way down to four inches and then cut it up and look inside. And then we're gonna have a second one where we just cut it and burn it in a bowl instead of in an ear and then compare the two results. Yeah, I think that's a good test. <laughs> Is that the correct ear? Yeah. All right, paging Dr. Alex. Oh wait, I need a pillow. All right, here we go. I'm glad I could be your candle and make the house smell good with my earwax. Ooh, okay. I can hear better with this. This is also like a hearing aid. All right. This is so here we go. relaxing. I'm getting fire right next to your face. It's crackling. Oh my gosh, it's putting me to sleep. What smell was this? Can you smell lavender? No, I'm trying not to inhale too deeply. So it doesn't even smell? I smell something burning, not lavender. I smell, I smell my candle that's lit across the room, not this. <laughs> At least one of the candles in the house is working. No Are you leaving me with my, my head on fire? Do you trust this guy right here? You can't leave me unattended. I'm taking the first clipping. Tilt more this way, I don't wanna have hot ashes fall on you. This seems just, Abjectly no, it's totally safe and relaxing. <laughs> it's like a day at the spa. It seems like a time bomb. Like, oh, it's burning down. You better watch it before it sets you on fire. I'm gonna make the last cut. We're coming right through the line right now. So come to tilt towards me. I again. can feel the heat getting close to my f hand and face. This is our fake ear. Do we have permission to light? We have permission for lift off. You may it's not gonna lift off. So what's our hypothesis as well? what we'll see. I think we're gonna see the same thing that's in my ear. Yeah, once we cut both of these open, we're gonna see nasty, weird, waxy stuff in your ear thing. And we're gonna see nasty, weird, waxy stuff in this one that's just been burning like this. What if, <gasps> look, oh my gosh, it was going in my ear. Look, whoa, that's interesting. Look at uh, this ashy stuff that's coming off. Maybe we should put something under No, there. no, this is incredible. Oh look, it's like solid. Do you see this? So all those little loose chunks were floating around inside there. They were probably going down to the bottom here. Maybe we should put- Oh my gosh, it filled my ear Maybe with powder stuff. Maybe it filled your ear. Maybe it filled the bottom of the candle thing here. So that didn't come from my ear though, like we thought. I thought that came from my ear. This final flame, so we're gonna cut it below the flame. And then we'll have Alex label this one. And as soon as this one's labeled, we have one with my earwax in it. One with no one's earwax in it, and we're gonna do Alex's in just a second. Cool. Alex didn't want to be on tape getting his ears earwax sucked out. He worried that he had too much in there. <laughs> so we have to do his off camera. Okay, Alex just finished his test on himself. We have 
One that says no fear. No ear. No ear. And we have one that says Matt's cat. Matt's ear. Let's open up mine. Damn. So this, taken from Matt's lovely brain. Go ahead, I'll let you open it up and tell me what you think. See a whole bunch of weird powdery stuff and then a drip of wax that looks like it dripped downwards. Now we're gonna open the one that says no fear. No ear. Okay. So this had no human attached to it. And oh it my gosh. Exactly the same. It has more her. This one did not have any of the ear attached to it and you can see it has the same powdery substance as well as a big glob of wax that dripped downwards. I, would you say there's more in the one that wasn't attached to anybody? It looks like it. That's what it looks like to me. And they're about the same length. I think there's more in that one. That's crazy. Okay, so obviously the wax in there is not from yourself, bud. I'll let you open the one. one. What is that one from? That's from my ear. That Matt prematurely cut short. Not really. You were complaining the whole time. Listen. Yours has the least amount. This is the one that came out of my ear. So. It's a little bit longer and there's less stuff in there. So it seems to me like all of this substance that's on the inside here came from the candle itself. And we know that because this one is longer and there's less. Whereas theoretically you would think the ones that were attached to human ear have more powder and wax in them. Okay, so summing this all up, what do you think? Obviously it's a complete scam. Well, to be fair, nowhere on these packages did it say that it removed any ear wax from your ear. They only said that it was a weird, relaxing candle that for some reason it's relaxing to have a So, did you think it was relaxing? Fuck no. When there's a <laughs> flame that's slowly burning towards your face, that's supposed to be relaxing. Is that saying that you don't trust the person that's taking care of you? Uh, it just means I'm not comfortable with having burning stuff right near my face. And another thing I want to say is these have scents on them, herbal and lavender. There was no difference between them and it just stinks. It just smells like burning paper, really. So. All right, well, we've debunked this one. These obviously do not do anything. Now, the only thing that we don't know is if it loosened wax in there. Maybe in a couple days it'll come out. Don't wait for it. So we're gonna go with the impression that these are bogus and not worth the $10 that we paid each of these, $20 for both of these. Okay, well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to subscribe to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Don't look in it yet, don't look in it yet. He's cheating. You can't look in it till we're done.